G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy and if you're new here, my name is Teg. I acknowledge the Wajik people who are the traditional custodians of the lands that I'm filming on. Now, I decided to do you just a very quick video because uh, I bought four pairs of Parkhurst boots during the June-July uh, June uh, collection of Charles Hafstead uh, leathers. They, uh, I think Andrew calls it his uh, Charles Hafstead capsule collection. Uh, and when I showed those boots on Instagram, a number of them were uh, from the 618 last, his new last that he uses in his Portuguese factory. And I got a lot of comments about how does that compare to the 602 and the 602M because it is a brand new last. So I thought I would show you uh, a selection of my Parkhurst boots in the different lasts and show the evolution of those lasts and how they compare. Uh, but before I do that, let me introduce you to uh, this little sub-collection of my Parkhurst boots just to show you the, uh, the, um, uh, the timeline that went from the 18 last initially to the 618 last. So let me introduce these boots to you and then I'll take away the uh, right boot, leave the left boot for comparison purposes. So uh, this is one of the original Parkhurst models in, in Nighthawk Kudu, also from Charles F. Stead, uh, very grey, lovely grey sort of um, Kudu colour. Uh, and this is in the original number 18 last, that's the 1-8 last. It, 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 in length terms, it's actually the same as the uh, succeeding 602 last, but it is uh, quite tapered in its almond-shaped toe box. And while this fits me, I do have to admit, I won't, you know, I, I won't lie, that this is quite snug in the toes. They do fit me, they don't squeeze my toes, but they are perhaps not as comfortable as a 602 last in terms of the, the width of the toe box. Uh, and I'll get into how those compare in a minute. Um, the next boot that comes along is in the 602 last. Now this is the classic Parkhurst combination last. It starts off with a, 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 a very snug heel. I think it's in the Beale uh, width. Uh, a, quite a snug waist and then it opens up to, I think it was a D, might have been a single E width at the ball of the foot. And as you can see, it has a much more uh, rounded toe compared to the 18 last, which is much more tapered. And the length, which I'll show you uh, in greater detail later, uh, is actually turning out to be the same. After the 602 last, which was built in the uh, contract at Batavia factory, which unfortunately went bust during COVID, Andrew moved to Spain and in his Spanish factory, uh, tweaked and created the 602M last. This is built out of the Spanish factory. It's in the 602M last. This is in uh, his um, suede, uh, sandy suede colored um, uh, makeup, which I think will keep coming back because it is a Spanish leather, is my understanding. 602M last. And Andrew tells me that it's one to two millimeters wider in the forefoot and therefore one to two millimeters more uh, in volume. And you will see that happen when I uh, uh, compare them to the 602 later on in this video. Uh, but it still remains a really lovely uh, looking combination last. And then this one is the latest last that he uses in his Portuguese factory, the uh, uh, 618 last. And I will try and sort of get the angle right. If I get the angle right, you'll see that it is extremely narrow in the heel and the, and the waist, and it widens out quite a bit to the ball of the, uh, to the, ball of the foot before it then tapers into an almond-shaped tapered toe. But don't be scared because there is actually enough room in this taper that it doesn't squeeze your toes, uh, unlike the number 18 last. Uh, and also because the 618 is, in my opinion, slightly longer. So it accommodates the toes before it moves on. Right, so that's the introduction to the lasts, the 18, the 602, the 602M, and the 618. And both of these, the 602M and the 618, are what is going to be built uh, from now on in the Spanish factory and in the Portuguese factory. So here they are in chronological order. Uh, the original number 18 last, the uh, upstate New York 602 last, the Spanish factory 602M last, and the Portuguese factory 618 last. Now, if you start at the beginning, you can see from this 
that it's quite a uh, tapered toe in the 18 last when it first came out. Uh, it's a combination last in the sense that it's a, a narrow heel base, a narrow waist, and it opens out to, I think, a D shape here in those days. Uh, this fitted me, but perhaps wasn't my favorite fit because Andrew hadn't quite got the taper right, I don't think, in that this is uh, uh, the right length for my feet, but potentially the taper started a bit early. So it was, it was you know, I won't lie, it was a little bit tight on there. Um, the development then went on to his long-term uh, combination last, which is the 602. Uh, and you can see from this that the taper in the toe has now rounded off. And I'll show you in a minute, but it's also a little bit wider at the ball of the feet and narrower in the waist. I think the ball of the feet went up to an E in this, in this uh, makeup, in this last. And then when uh, Andrew had to move because of COVID and all his suppliers shutting down in the US and the factory, this factory shutting down, um, he went across to Spain and he dabbled with his last and out came this 602M last. A little bit roomier, a uh, little bit more volume. Uh, same sort of rounded almond toe uh, and the same sort of locked in uh, heel, waist and I think it was one or two millimeters wider along the forefoot. So this was his Spanish and is his Spanish last. Then came, if you ignore the development last, then came the 618 last. And as you can see from this, it's going back to an 18 last sort of tapered almond, but much wider at the ball, much narrower in the waist and in the heel. This is a really locked in last. Uh, with lots of room for the ball of your feet and surprisingly a lot of room for your toes and I'll get into that. So if you start comparing them, I know this is the older one uh, and you're not going to be able to get another boot like this unless you buy second hand in the second hand market. But you can see that the, um, this, the difference between the two, it's quite difficult to do this with the camera and parallax view but you should be able to see that the grey one, the Nighthawk Kudu, is quite a bit narrower in the ball of the foot than the Spruce Kudu. And certainly the toe shape in this grey one is a lot more uh, tapered. And these are exactly the same size. I, I uh, size on the Brannock 8.5D. Uh, these don't have a ABCDE width uh, in the sense that their combination lasts. So these are size 8s. And you can see from the toe profile as well. Let me get this right. There you go. You can see from the toe profile that this has a little less volume than the 602. So that's got a little bit roomier from the 18. And uh, in terms of length sizing, if I get that right, in terms of length sizing, they're just about the, the same length, which is potentially what creates a little squeeziness for me in this. And I'll get into that when I talk about the 618. Okay, so from the New York 602, we went to the Spanish 602M. And if I compare these two, again, trying to get the parallax view right, you can see that the 602M in the uh, Dune suede appears a little more rounded in the toe. And I think it is actually. Because what Andrew says is that, is that he increased volume by one or two millimeters in the forefoot. And you can just, let me get this lace out of the way. I think you can just about see that if I compare that. You can see that the, the suede is just a little bit roomy. I mean, we're talking two millimeters, so not a great deal. And definitely, I think you find that the toe is rounder. And then, if you compare them head on, Can you see that the Spruce Kudu is a little more uh, uh, reduced in the volume? You can see this one goes out and then rounds down, whereas this one tapers all the way down. Let's get that angle, tapers all the way down. Can you see the difference? So what I find is while the old 602 uh, fitted me really well, the 602M fits me well in the same size, 
but it is a little roomy. Um, I'm still locked in in the heel, but I do feel that maybe my toes have a bit more room. If you look at the length of it, again you find that the length is just about the same. Okay? So all that's done, that's gone from the 602 to the 602M is a little bit more uh, width by one or two millimeters and correspondingly a little bit more volume in the toe. And yet I take both in, in the size 8 uh, with not a problem. Being a combination last, again, this grabs my heel, it's uh, snug in the uh, waist, opens up, very comfortable. And then we get to the 618 last. I just want to show you this on its own. If I get it in the right angle, I think you should be able to see how wide that forefoot is and how narrow that waist is. Now let me compare that to the 602M. If I get that at the right angle, do you see? It's definitely wider at the uh, ball. And look at the difference in the uh, waist. Much narrower. Let's look at the two of them. So the 618 last, uh, made out of Portugal. Let me, if you, that's about the right comparison. You can see that it is marginally long. Let me get to that, do that again. All right. You can see that it is actually marginally longer than the 602M. Let me get that angle right. Just marginally. And I think it's about four or five millimeters longer. It, it doesn't feel like it's you know, like I'm about to dig my toes into the ground every time I take a walk because it's a well-structured last. If you look at the 618, um, there's definitely much wider width here. Here we go, let's take a look. Definitely much wider here especially and here, which gives a lot of room for where I often have a hot spot in those two areas. Uh, and this is a, is, a, is a really beautiful fit. The tapered toe might scare you, like it did in the old 18, but because it's slightly longer, the toes, sort of, the little toe ends up here before it really starts coming across. And the big toe is somewhere here. So often I say a thumb's width. In this case, it's a little bit below a thumb's width, so there's a bit more room. As I said, you do not feel as if you're about to stub your toe because it's, it's, a, it's a firm enough sole structure that it moves as one with your feet. But what I really want to point out is take a look at the waist. Like, take a look at how it absolutely just pushes in. A very Alden-like in feel for the arch support. And in fact, if you look at this one, look at how much flatter it is coming out, whereas this one absolutely pushes in into the, in, into the arch there. Uh, superb arch support. And if you look at the sole, Again, I think you should be able to see um, how much wider it is at the ball of the foot. You can't see how much narrow it is here because uh, of the stitch down uh, and this, the midsole comes out quite a lot. Like, look, my thumb's that much in, that much in. If you look at this one, in the Goodyear welt, it's that much in. It's half the, half the distance. And, and this comes down, sure, but this comes down and in. Superb arch support on this one. My favorite Parkhurst last. Don't worry about the uh, uh, tapered toe box. It does not squeeze your toes in. Uh, it feels just as comfortable as this more rounded toe box. Trust me. Unless you have seriously wide duck feet, this will not be a problem. Uh, so uh, an honorable mention is the uh, Portuguese development last. This, as you can see, is much rounder in the toe. Look what it turned out to be. Right? Much rounder in the toe and not a great deal more in terms of volume. Not a great deal more in terms of volume. But rounded in the toe and not as wide here. Right? If you look at that, and compare that to that. Definitely wider. Okay, so 
there you go. So as I said, it was really a quick summary. I had so many questions about the, how the uh, 618 lasts compared to the 602M uh, that I thought I'd just make you this quick video. And I think just to show you the evolution from the 18 to the Batavia uh, 602 to the Spanish 602M to the development last uh, and then to the Portuguese 618. Now these two, the um, Spanish 602M and the Portuguese 618 are the ones that are going to be built on from here onwards until the next last uh, derivation, I suppose. So how I compare these to the older ones, I think the 602M and the 602 is hardly any difference. There is a little bit more ruminous uh, in the forefoot, but I'm never actually sure <laughs> whether that's because of a difference in the factory. Uh, and Andrew does say that he's increased the, the width by about one or two millimeters. So clearly there is an extra width and there is some extra volume. I wouldn't change your size though, quite frankly. If the 602 fitted you in an 8, I would take this in an 8. I think if your 602M was a little snug, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, if your 602 was a little snug before, then I think you might find this fits better. If on the other hand the 602 was just okay, not specifically snug, this might be a little bit too wide and you might want to talk to Andrew about sizing down a little bit. Uh, in terms of the 618, I just think this is a magnificent last. Uh, I take this in an 8, same as all the others. Um, they don't come in Ds or whatever because it's a combination last. I think the heel is a B. Uh, the waist that used to be a C I think remains a B, the way it's tucked in. And then this I think is at least an E, if not a double E, before it tapers. And let me just say again, don't get scared of the taper. A lot of comments is, oh my God, he's changed it so that it's so tapered, I don't think my feet can fit. If the 602 and the 602M fitted you fine, these will fit you fine because they're marginally longer, in my opinion, uh, and uh, I believe that the last is designed so that the taper starts after the toes have been accommodated. I think you'll be fine. So there you go, guys. Just a quick one to give you the information about the different Parkhurst lasts. Um, I hope you like this video. You know what to do. Help me out. Click on like. Um, I'm going to disappear for a little while, but I have videos coming that I've uh, taped before. Uh, so in my absence during uh, some eye surgery that I'm going to have, you'll have a load of videos coming out anyway. So subscribe. Help me out. Like and subscribe. And until I see you again, take care and see you soon.